emergency patients at a Worcestershire hospital are at risk, watchdogs have said following an inspection in March. The Care Quality Commission, CQC, said there were no security measures in place at the Worcestershire Royals Emergency Department, while equipment was dusty or past its expiry date. Inspectors said one child had been waiting two hours for pain relief while other patients were left in corridors. The hospital trust said it had been a difficult time. Out of date. The surprise inspection was carried out following concerns about the accident and emergency, a and &E, departments at the Royal and Redditch's Alexandra Hospital, both of which the inspectors described as high-risk services. During the inspection, CQC officials said they found out-of-date equipment and patients being cared for in corridors by ambulance crews. We saw numerous examples where patient safety was at risk, the report said. It said medication was not given in a timely manner and patient notes were not up to date. There were also inadequate security arrangements, with the doors to the emergency department being left open, allowing unauthorized access. Inspectors called on the trust to address its concerns urgently, highlighting the need for sufficient suitably qualified staff. In a statement, the trust said it had made a number of significant improvements since the report. Fatally weakened risk. Both hospitals are run by the Worcestershire Acute Hospitals NHS Trust, which plans to downgrade a and &E in Redditch and treat more patients at Worcestershire Royal Hospital. The changes risk fatally weakening the Alexandra Hospital in Redditch, according to the Worcestershire Local Medical Committee, WLMC, a body representing doctors in Worcestershire. The WLMC said it has no confidence the trust can implement the changes. In an unprecedented move in April, West Midlands Ambulance Service sent the medical incident officer to Worcestershire Royal following delays in treatment. Chris Tidman, acting chief executive, said, the report reflects what was a very difficult time for our emergency departments, particularly at Worcestershire Royal Hospital. We know that improvement was needed in some areas of our practice and have been working hard to make the necessary changes.